So I've wrote part about pareidolia, and it's one mile wide. It's human perception of form in the landscape, an animated planet. A Knights Templar on horseback is in full regalia on his way from Palestine. is really directly south to the Great Grey Wolf of Sudan, with the Bear of Gran on its back and then directly west of to the home of the first god, Atoni, the hidden king of England. So this must be about here, because of Exodus 34.18, from the Book of the Hidden King. Princess Victoria of Kent secretly married blind Prince George of Cumbernauld in 1834 and had a legitimate son, no, a legitimate, firstborn son, Marcos Manuel, was exiled in great secrecy to Portugal. As an orphan, he received a chest full of royal marks from Queen Victoria, proving his birthright. The line, fine, line, fine lineage of kingship, the occult royal prince Marcos Manny, Manville became the rightful heir to the crown of England, Scotland, Ireland and Hanover and the Duke of Sachsen and Coburg I don't I can't say that name the hidden king of England he was crowned King John II of England in 1839 in the hidden history of the time we live in 2019 the eye of the light and beholder as knowledge and as we age, we have a thirst for knowledge. You can either quench your thirst or drown in it. The total opposite of having your glass half full. Some never to it as going down the rabbit hole. Some come out the other side, wiser for the knowledge, but also a weight is carried. The gift of foresight can be so confusing, confusing when you're young. It doesn't come with an instruction manual. How to use your gifts, we all have them. The best one is your intuition, your gut feeling. Always listen to your inner being. It is trying to help you every time. I haven't listened and done whatever anyway, only to cause myself grief by not listening to my intuition. And I've written about Dr. Sebi as well. He was a very clever man. I've got loads of stuff I've written about. But I'm going to look for a cracker so I can share this with you. 